Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting a few things done for the salon. So I thought I'd turn on the camera. As I stated in my last video, I do currently work full time. I just work from home. So in the, like in between time, I try to get things done for the salon. So in my last video, I mentioned that you I needed a certificate of occupancy for my borough. We'll come to find out that that's oops that's all i needed for my last location the original location where i was going to be that didn't really work out so for this location i not only need a certificate of occupancy i also need to complete a business privilege application which is just me registering my business with their borough so right now i'm just making a quick to-do list of things i have to do for the salon and then I also am making a list of requirements for the state board in order for me to be licensed as a salon and to be able to start taking clients. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but you do not need to be a licensed nail tech to open a salon. You just need to be a licensed nail tech to practice in the salon. So if you're not a nail tech and you wanna open a nail salon and just hire nail techs to work for you, that's absolutely an option. You can completely do that. Just wanted to make that quick disclaimer. I don't want anyone to think that you have to be a licensed nail tech to open a nail salon. Not at all. So right now, my priorities, I'm just making a list because knowing me, I'm going to forget. I need to complete business privilege I still don't know if I am doing their certificate of occupancy or the landlord. I believe the landlord is doing it. That's what the realtor told me, but I'm going to put it on my list. So those are my top three things that I need to do for the salon. The business privilege application, which registers my business for that borough. The certificate of occupancy, which allows me to run my business in that borough. And then confirm my business insurance, which basically protects me from any liabilities or anything. And then also I need to submit applications to the state board for licenses. All right, so my top four things. Business registration, um, certificate of occupancy, confirm my business insurance, and submit my application for my salon licenses. You cannot, well, at least in Pennsylvania, you cannot take clients until this is complete. If you start taking clients and you don't have a salon license and somebody reports you, just be prepared to either A, be fine, two shut down, or three both. So right here, I jotted this down, but I'm just gonna rewrite it. So I'm getting the license for a nail salon and also for aesthetics. So they both need, they both need all of these. And then this is just some a few extra things that you have to have in order to be licensed for aesthetics. So, all right, now that I have all that written down. Today, I'm going to, I need to get money orders for both of these. Again, I don't know if the landlord is doing this or not. I was told that he is, so I'm not going to get a money order for that yet. But I am going to get the money order for the business registration. And I'm also going to go print that form out so that I can drop it off tomorrow. I'm going to call the people again because they keep quoting me on the, they keep sending me emails for an insurance quote 
but it's not the insurance provider that I want. So I'm gonna reach out to them again today and see if I can get a quote on the insurance that I actually want. And I'm also gonna print out the applications I need. Well, no, I don't have to print that, I can do that online. So I'll do that online. So that's today's, today and tomorrow's to-do list. The beginning. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So I just want to give you guys an update of where we are in the process. Right now it is 8.41 on Friday, April 8th. As you know, I do work from home. So I'm just logging in right now onto the laptop. Um... Yeah, my laptop is sitting on this Nike box just because I'm in the kitchen. I didn't really want to sit upstairs. So this is just a better height for the laptop for me. Um, so while I log in, what's the update? So we got the keys to the salon. Yay. I'll probably insert a clip of me going in for the first time. Um, so that was exciting. What else? I did some research on some pedicure chairs and the ones that I wanted initially were these like custom built in chairs, but they were like 14,000. So I'm like, well, I'll try to get financing, maybe a business loan, but I couldn't get a business loan because my one, I didn't have an account with that bank for a long enough amount of time. You had to have an account with that bank for at least a year and I've never had an account with that bank at all. So there's that. And I think that was the only issue. The other bank I was gonna go with, the one I actually have an account with, they required a whole lot and it didn't make sense to me because I was only gonna get a loan for like 5,000. And I just didn't feel like going through that whole hassle for just $5,000 and like no. So then I found some other pedicure chairs they gave me an estimate of 6700 which is not bad for three chairs that's all i wanted was three the space originally had four pedicure chairs but it just looked so crowded to me so i was like mm, no i'm gonna do three that's not it And sorry, that's my coffee maker in the background because I need coffee. Okay, so they quoted me 6,700. They approved me for financing. So I'm like, all right, cool. Um, But they said that with the payment plan, it was gonna be like 300 and some change a month. So by the time I paid it off, it would equal out to about 14,000, which was the amount of the previous chairs that I wanted. 
So I emailed her about it. I'm like, is this number accurate? Because I'm sorry, it wasn't going to equal 14. It was going to equal 16. And I'm just like, the chairs are only 6,700. Like this is almost triple the price of chairs. So anywho, I emailed them and I asked them if this was accurate. So they're like, yeah, because your business is new. Um, this is the option for you. There's another option, but you have to put down a down payment. But at the end, you will still be paying 9000 in total and not the 6700 So I'm like, well, let me get back to you because if that's the case, I'll just give you the 67 up front. Like, the only reason why I wanted some sort of payment plan or financing is because I wanted to keep a little bit of cash on hand. However, I'm like, I'll just pay the 6700 So I'm like, let me think about it. I'll get back to you, whatever. During that time... I saw a post on a Facebook group I'm in, and I normally don't check the group, but for some reason, I got a notification on Facebook that somebody posted in the Facebook group, and I was like, whatever, I'll go look at it, and it just happened to be her selling her pedicure chair. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And they're in like amazing condition. So I reached out to her, and she was willing to sell me the pedicure chairs for $2,500. I'm gonna take it, saving me what forty two hundred dollars absolutely and they're in great shape she sent me a video and she sent me some pictures of what the chairs currently look like so i'm excited about that so we're going to get those we're going to pick those up may 1st and then she's also selling a bunch of other things from her salon so i'm probably going to buy her towel warmer what else so that's that's where we are right now i'm like really 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 excited because it's all coming together the next thing on my to-do list is to purchase all the stuff i need for the state boards requirement so that they can come out and inspect the salon so that i can get licensed so i want to hurry up and do that because the sooner i can get that done the sooner i can start making some money and then also we went to, my sister and I went to Ikea to look at the desks that I want for the nail station and kind of just get an idea of what it looks like in person, what it feels like to sit there. Is it comfortable for a nail tech? Is it comfortable for a client? So that went well. We also went to Home Depot to look at paint samples. So these are all the samples that I got. Um, these I don't think I'm going to go with. They're just a little too dark for what I'm going for. So it's probably going to be one of these, Dolphin Fin or Eon. I'm leaning towards this one. But then I also kind of like this one. So I don't know. We'll see. So that's where we are. As more happens, I'll update you guys. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. So I'll update you guys once I have an update. All right. So right now I was having an issue with the website and the services. So it was not letting me, uh, how do I get to it? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure out how to use Wix. Still learning. Um, ignore my children in the background. They're watching TV. Um, what is this? Blah, blah, blah. I just want to see it. Okay, it's not going to let me do it on here. Let's try it on here. So... So the issue I was having was that it wasn't letting me book more than one service for one appointment. So let's say, what do I have on here? Um, so I have all of these on here, but let's say I wanted to do like a full set with a full crystal nail 
it would make the full set one appointment and then the crystal nail another appointment. Ridiculous. I looked up how to fix it and it's like some coding or whatever that has to be done. I'll figure that out later, I don't have time for that. So for now, I already had Square set up and you can use their software for free to like book appointments and everything. So I'm just gonna do everything through Square for now and then either A, I'll keep it if it works well or B, I'll do the website how I initially wanted to do it. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting my categories together and then within each category, I'll add the services. So that's what we're doing. I have my little glass of wine. Yes, it is in a champagne flute. Don't care, all the other cups are in the dishwasher. So this is what we're doing. And then I already have some of the services on here. The prices were not set in stone. I just put some services on here so that I could see how it looked on the website. I believe that for the most part, these are the services that I'm going to offer. It's just not the exact price. Why is this not working? Why is this? Every time I use Wix, it starts freezing. So maybe it's best that I'm not using this site because this is crazy. Every time, it doesn't happen with anything else, but it always happens with Wix. No problem. Go back to Wix. Problem. Anyway, so once I get this figured out, I'm just gonna take the services, add them onto Square, and then kind of figure out what I want the prices to be. So yeah, that's where we are. Hello, today is May 8th, Mother's Day. Um, I'm in Dollar Tree right now, just getting some cleaning supplies because we're heading over to the salon to just do a little bit of cleaning. So, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, we already have gloves. I'm trying to decide if I need a broom or not. Don't really know. I mean, I'm gonna need a broom eventually. I don't think I need one right now, like today. So we're gonna skip that. Um, or maybe I should get this. Powerful fight. Bathroom and uh, This is the one I got. Hmm. We'll see. All right, so I got this cleaner instead, just an all-purpose cleaner. Um, plus, we're gonna have the kids with us, so I don't want anything too strong. This is just like a quick clean, not really a deep clean. And now I just need some paper towels, and I also need a cleaner for the chairs because the, they are leather so I want to get something to protect the leather I think I have something in my trunk that I used when I got my car but we'll see so just getting a couple more things and then we're heading out well we pulled up to the salon and we have one fire truck here Another one down the street, can't see it because it's around the corner. But apparently a fire alarm is going off upstairs in one of the other units. So we're just waiting for them to be done. All right, so we're back inside. We moved everything in May 1st. And this is what it's looking like. So right now we're just cleaning up and about to get everything kind of in place. But then after that, you know, more to come. All right, so ignore the car seat, but this is where we are. The firefighters are still out there. Reception is desk. We're taking that down. Uh, we got the pedicure chair set up. Um, but anyway, we got the pedicure chair set up. The pipes are not in. We just kind of set them up and set them there. So this is where we are. Super excited. Everything's coming together. We got a, I wanna put a mirror right here, a long mirror right here. And yeah, we're gonna repaint. We're gonna do something different with the floors. This whole thing is going, not our tool bag, but this whole thing is going. We're gonna take all these down. 
Don't know how we're gonna mount the TV because although that is there, this is nothing but drywall and can't afford it for a TV to fall on the ground. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. This is the progress coming together. Very nice. All right, so we just got home. Right now, I'm just editing a post for Mother's Day. Why does Canva keep signing me out? Hold on. All right, so as I was saying, I'm just editing a post that I'm going to put on Instagram. This is a picture from the salon today once we were kind of done seeing how we wanted everything situated. Obviously, still a work in progress, but good starting point so let's see I just want to add some text hmm how do we want to do this I just want to put coming soon like across the top here so up oh, the baby's waking up I'll be back all right, so I just added coming soon to the photo. And then what I will do next, because I have the Canva app on my phone as well, I'll just pull it up on my phone, make sure everything looks the way I want it to, and then post it from my phone. I don't know if people post on Instagram from their iPads. I just prefer not to. For me, it just makes more sense to post it from my phone. So this is what we have. And then this will go up on my salon's Instagram page for our Mother's Day post. All right, so this is what the post looks like. I'm showing you on my iPad because I'm recording on my phone. And you know, I think it came out nice. So that's all for today. Thanks for coming along and sharing this journey with me. I can't wait to give you guys another update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon.